Hello, uh, my name is Weiwei, and I'm a PhD student from the University of British Columbia. Represent Canonical Capsules, a framework for self-supervised learning on 3D Point Cloud. This is joint work with Andrea, Boyan, Sarah, Suresh, Jeffrey, and Kwan. We introduce Canonical Capsules, a self-supervised training architecture for Point Cloud. Our architecture achieves the state-of-art performance in all encoding, unsupervised classification, and canonicalization. Canonical capsules receive the, the input a point cloud, encodes it as a set of capsules, and reconstruct its geometry in a learner canonical frame. Note that we make no assumptions about the orientation of the point clouds, neither at the training or test time. But why are we interested in the architecture that can deal with the randomly rotated and the translated point clouds? Because the most of recent results in 3D deep learning have been enabled by the strong built-in biases in the training dataset. For example, ShapeNet models can pre-align in a canonical frame, and the cardinal axis have a semantic meaning. The x-axis is aligned with the natural forward direction. And the y-axis reveals the reflectional symmetry. And the z-axis encodes the upright direction. This biosis is critical in many methods. For example, AtlasNet does a good job in the reconstructing point clouds when the dataset is aligned. But its performance drops significantly when trained with the randomly rotated objects. In our work, we learned to canonicalize shapes and then perform the downstream tasks in the canonical space. We achieved this objective by leveraging the capsule representations. But what are capsules? At a high level, you can think of capsules as part-based representations. To keep things simple, just think of a capsule as an oriented part. Each capsule has two parts. The capsule descriptor should encode the shape of the part. The capsule pose should encode the orientation of the part. We learn capsule decompositions by noticing that the capsule corresponds to the cl clusters in the point clouds. For example, the cluster of the points close to the front of the airplane will form the cockpit capsules. Clustering is the permutation equivalent operation. Hence, if the order of the input points changes, then the order of the cluster assignment should change accordingly. To guarantee this behavior, we employ the ACNE architecture. We extend ACNE to the multi-head setting, where each head output the attention weights that assign a point to a, to a particular capsule. Note that while the point cloud is unordered, the capsule identities are ordered. For example, the second capsule should always correspond to the point on the airplane cockpit. Once we assign each point to a capsule, we aggregate the coordinates of the points within the same cluster to build our capsule pose. Note that the capsule poses are transformation equivalent. If the object rotates, so do the capsule poses. Further, note that the procrastive alignment can be used to align the two objects, given their capsule poses. Similarly, we aggregate the feature of the points within the same cluster to build our invariant capsule descriptors. We use the acne backbone to compute these per-point features. Note, these descriptors should not change under, under transformation of the object. Moreover, we can use these capsules for the canonicalization. Note, the two input point clouds with similar appearance should be similarly canonicalized. We enforce this behavior by asking an MLP to regress the capsule poses in a canonical space based on the descriptors. Note that rotating the input leaves the invariant features unchanged, resulting in the same, the same canonicalization. Let us now look at the inference procedure. We first feed a point cloud through the ACNE network that clustered it into capsules. 
Then, by using these attention weights, we compute the Euclidean average of the positions assigned to the same cluster, resulting in the equivariant pose. The average of the acne features assigned to the same cluster, resulting in the invariant descriptor. We then employ an MLP to convert the invariant descriptor into the pose, the canonical pose. As the canonical pose is in one-to-one -one correspondence with the original pose, the progressive alignment can be used to compute the transformation that brings the point cloud into the canonical space. Once our representation is in canonical space, we decode the features with an atlas net like architecture to reconstruct the point cloud. To train our method in a self supervised fashion, we employ a SAMIS training strategy and a regularized training to avoid the trivial solutions, such as the case the existence of the empty capsules. Given the point cloud P, we generate the two random transformation of the input and encode both point clouds to generate the feature and the capsule attention masks. We then aggregate the positions and the features to generate the capsule poses and descriptors. The process is supervised by losses asking the poses to be equivariant and descriptors to be invariant. And then from the top branch, we forward the pose and from the bottom branch, we forward the descriptors, which are used to regress the corresponding uh, canonical pose. As capsules are in one-to-one -one correspondence, we can now employ procrasty to compute the rigid transformation that aligns the point clouds from the top branch to the canonical space from the bottom branch, and supervise the process by minimal minimizing the discrepancies between the two domains up to the rigid motion. We evaluate our representation across a number of tasks. For the autoencoding task, we compared against the recent AtlasNet V2 and 3D point capsule network. For the canonicalization, which was inspired by the normalized object coordinate spaces, the only suitable baseline is campus. Note this method is technically the concurrent research. While well, the canonicalization is a much more complex task than the pairwise registration, we also compare to the recent techniques that focus on this simpler task, such as deep DMR and deep closed point. Let us evaluate the performance of the ARM method in autoencoding. Given the randomly oriented point clouds, we decompose it into capsules in a self supervised fashion. The decomposition allows us to canonicalize our data and reconstruct the signal more effectively. We can also apply the inverse of the estimated transformation to reconstruct the point clouds in the original pose. Note that our reconstruction are highly detailed and the performance is vastly superior to competing the state-of-the-art methods. We can also train a multi-class network building a general learner canonicalizer network across the entirety of the ShapeNet classes. While the canonicalization is less stable than the single class model, our method still vastly outperforms the state of art. The advantage of our own method does not only hold when the point clouds are not aligned, even when out encoding aligned point clouds, our method provides a more detailed reconstruction. The gap in the reconstruction quality is also visible in terms of the numbers, where we outperform by a large margin. We also apply our method to unsupervised classification, where the poses and descriptors that we learn lead to the significant improvement. Note that the gap is even larger than in the case of autoencoding, demonstrating the use usefulness of our capsule decomposition. We finally compare our method against the other canonicalization methods as well as pairwise registration methods and outperform other methods by a very large margin. In summary, we introduced a self-supervised architecture based on the capsule networks. We propose the task of the self-supervised canonicalization and demonstrate its benefits.
leading to the state of uh, the performance across a number of tasks. There are a number of the interesting values for future work, such as the generalization of the canonicalization to 3D problems learned from the images. The investigation of the better backbones with provable equivariance invariance, the feasibility of applying the method to the incomplete data, and to the processing of the scenes containing multiple objects. At the fundamental level, we are also very interested in extending our method to the hierarchical decompositions and whether a future learning configuration can significantly simplify our formulation. Thank you for watching. More technical details and applications are available in the paper. Our source code is available at canonicalcapsules.github.io.